so let's bolt up this manifold i didn't bolt it up they're still loose right here so i'm gonna do that i already put this hose this hose for the intake um and get the rest done So we already put the lines for the power steering pump. I just need to plug this up right now. We're doing the serpentine belt right now. And then uh, we're gonna put all the fluids and then we're waiting on my girl to bring us an OEM um, motor mount. Um, this one's messed up so we're gonna replace it. We bought one from Toyota, she's picking it up. So we're gonna do that one before we put the whole air pump on and put the wheels beat the system and this car should be running and put everything else the covers the hood the c1 stuff you know we're just trying to get it up and running first and making sure everything's fine before we put everything back So my girl just dropped off the new motor mount from Toyota OEM. Supposedly this was the last one. That's the part label. Had another one here. I don't know. I took it off because I needed access to this boat. So we're gonna slap this on, put everything back together as far as the air pump. Then we're gonna dilute this because this is a hundred percent coolant, so it's not 50-50. So we're gonna put half of it over there and then put um, distilled water that I have there. I have another gallon uh, that we could mix both of them and put coolant first and then drop it down, put transmission and then bleed the system and go for a test run. So we already mixed it, put some coolant in there, putting the wheels back on and dropping it down, putting the transmission. Then from there, we got to go to AutoZone real quick, get some power steering fluid. This takes ATF transmission fluid. It says it right there on the cap, use Dextron type ATF. So uh, I think we drained all of it. Yeah, it has nothing. I don't know. I think we should take it off and clean it, no? Yeah. Let's take it off and clean it since we drained all the that coolant, uh, that power steering fluid. So, probably take that off. Go to the store real quick and fill the rest of the fluids, which is going to be that one and tranny. I think it has, it has oil, but uh, we're going to double check once it's on the floor, but it does. Like, so... Yep, she's gonna run today. So there she is, dropped on the floor. All we need is tranny fluid, which I'm gonna fill up right now and then go to the store, get power steering, turn this baby on, bleed the system, go for a test drive. Get some food, yep. Let's get to it. So we're gonna put MT90 and some synchro mesh that I had. Um, so it's not gonna take it when you fully drain it, it takes 2.3 since they already had some in there, whatever it spilled out when I took out the axles. So it's probably only gonna take like a quart, quart and a half um, to drain it. Uh, there's a dream bowl in the bottom to refill it. It's that bolt right next to that line right there. 
so that one right there let's see if you can see it right next to the line right there so we gotta take that one off and then use a pump or use one of these i use these a lot on these cars because it's very easy like gravity uses of course once it starts overfilling or dropping oil it's because it's filled plug it up and that's it so that's what i'm gonna do right now real quick that's why i have the drip pan so when it gets filled up and it starts spilling oil pans right there So there, we got the ATF already. We grabbed lunch, we already ate. Let's fill it up, start it up. Hopefully it turns on. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. <laughs> Baby got the honors of turning it on. <laughs> it's my car too, all right? <laughs> I did all the work. Shut it off, shut it off, shut it off. Take number two. <laughs> Started leaking an injector, so we had to turn it off. Uh, we're turning it back on real quick, on and off, making sure they did seal right. I took them off, they are. The seals are still good. I think it just didn't sit right. So, moment of the truth. Yeah, it's still leaking. So it's still leaking. What the fuck is it? So we're swapping injectors to some yellow ones that I had there. And we gotta swap one of the seals out. That's what it is, it's just seals. But my girl wants to try out these yellow injectors. <clears throat> Take number three. <laughs> we put jelly injectors now. Turn it on, turn it off. Huh? You not have power at all? Battery's not connected. Did you connect the battery right? Yeah. Okay, take number, number four. four. <laughs> Somebody didn't connect the battery right. What take is this? I don't know what number, <clears throat> number seven? <laughs> Lucky seven? saying goodbye to gt4 somebody came and see it he wants it uh, i moved the evil out there so i could move this car around turn it around and say my last goodbyes to it and there she goes bye bye it was nice knowing you put on the hood already 
we're gonna go for a little test drive see how it does hopefully everything's good so we went for a test drive the clutch is all the way biting all the way to the top so i'm gonna see if i could try to adjust it make it stiffer a little bit and the light came on i don't know for what system to lean, <coughs> system to lean again <coughs> 